Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The People's Liberation Army's PHL-16 also known as PCL-191 is a truck-mounted self-propelled multiple rocket launcher system of PLA Army. The system is capable of firing eight 370mm rockets having a range of 350 km and two 750mm ballistic missiles having a range of 500 km. It can be used to fire two types of ballistic missile. These missiles are 610mm King Dragon 300 with a range of approximately 300 km and second one is 750mm Fire Dragon 480 with 480 kg of warhead, circular error probability of 30 meters and range close to 360 kilometers. Now, Indian Army is inducting Pralim as an answer to Chinese long-range rocket force, especially the tactical ballistic missiles like King Dragon and Fire Dragon. Pralim can answer both the Chinese tactical missiles as its range and payload can be varied. Pralim can carry 350 kilograms to 700 kilograms of high explosive pre-formed fragmentation warhead, penetration come blast and runway denial penetration submunition at a range of 150 km to 500 km. It is comparable with Russia's 9K720 Iskander in range and trajectory characteristics. Prale also follows a quasi-ballistic trajectory and capable of taking sharp maneuver before striking a target. It is superior to traditional ballistic missile as it does not follow a complete ballistic trajectory which makes it difficult to detect. The JVC that is Jet Pen Control System provides Prale the ability to deviate from typical ballistic or parabolic path and maneuver during ascent of missile by deflecting the rocket's exhaust vanes. This is why it is called Quasi-Ballistic Missile 2. Now, back in December 2022, it was reported that Ministry of Defense has cleared 120 Prale missile, which will be deployed along the borders with China and Pakistan. The missile would be inducted into Indian Army and Air Force, which could stand out as India's only conventional ballistic missile potentially under field army control. It had been officially confirmed that Prale would only be armed with a conventional warhead and this is a very important point because once Prale is ready and deployed, it will not lead to unintended nuclear escalation or misinterpretation. The nuclear missiles are the last resort for any country and India has no first use policy. In advent of war, the tactical ballistic missile like Prale will be only used in large numbers for deep penetration strike, making it absolutely critical for armed forces. Now, as per the latest report published by Tactical Report, which is a geopolitical and market intelligence company specialized in the defense markets of Middle East North African region. The Egyptian Ministry of Military Production is in talks with India's DRDO for a transfer of technology and local production of Prale missile. Earlier, we have also reported that Egypt has also shown interest in Brahmos missile. Recently, we have seen multiple attempts between India and Egypt to increase defense cooperation between the two countries at various levels. While India is looking to increase its defense export, it should be cautious of TOT, especially for the state of art and niche technology like Prale missile. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.